Just, just, just go in and just Hadouken me, man. Just go ahead. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. You got to no! What's going on is Zamboni from, from Coldplay Media. I got Sasuke Origami with me, the, the, the legend, cosplaying as none other than the strength warrior himself, Ryu. First off, how are you enjoying your Momocon experience this year? Hadouken. Uh, it's, it's pretty awesome, you know, everybody's out here having fun, uh, people taking pictures over there, posing, that girl with the miniskirt looks great, well done, yes. uh, yeah, everybody's just out here having fun, winding down, it's been a busy day, lots of pictures, lots of like everything, panels, so yeah, I changed that on a cosplay and now I'm winding down myself. Now, this may be funny to you, but I'm actually a big fan of yours. You've done several videos, you have a big presence on YouTube, how did you get into cosplaying in general? Uh, well, there was this one friend uh, that we have named Haley, and she actually um, was having a birthday party at a bowling alley back in 2008, and she was like, hey, you guys should dress up. We went to the uh, birthday party. I was actually dressed as Ryu. It was my first cosplay ever. I've been cosplaying this since 2008, and uh, I just kind of fits, I guess, you know, but... Uh, after that, uh, she told us about conventions, and we started going to one called the Magicon that was in Birmingham, and here we are, like, almost 10 years later. <laughs> now, I've seen you cosplay as Ryu, Link, Berserk. What's your favorite cosplay to do, and why? Man, honestly, I think I just like doing them all. Um, each, each individual cosplay has a, like a different facet of a personality that I like to bring out, so... I like them all a lot, but I would say probably my favorite is Ryu because I do do martial arts and I do, uh, I am an MMA fighter and so okay. with this I feel like more mobile and able to just goof around and throw kicks and punches, wrestle if I want to. Uh, so I guess this one's my favorite as far as actual comfortability, but the other ones are just tight, you know, like big sword, uh, guts from Berserk and all the armor, it looks amazing. So I have different things that I like about each one of them, but I always default back to this one. So I guess this one. I mean, it looks great, it looks great. <laughs> so Akio Boy makes great videos. Do you have any particular moment or video you want to suggest to the audience right now? Because you guys have a lot and you're a big part of it. Uh, yeah, well, uh, to be honest with you, I'm not, I do a lot of acting for Akio Boy, so I guess I'm just one of his actors, but I'm not necessarily like legally tied to the brand, right. but. But we're great friends, so I work with him and I love to help him in everything he does. Um, I think all of the videos are really good. Um, one of our biggest projects was a movie that we released. It was it was me and Ronnie wrote it together and then, you know, did all the filming, all the recruiting. And uh, it was about, it's about a two-hour movie. And it's, uh, it's a very beautiful story about learning to let go and learning to forgive. And uh, it's called uh, Remoji Colorblind. So... You should check that out, man. Just everybody should check that out. It's uh, it's awesome. I've um, some of the people that have taken the time to watch it, it's, it's brought tears to their eyes. It's gave them like the realization or a revelation that they needed to move forward or to let go of something. And uh, and that's kind of what we were trying to do. Is we we're trying to touch people on a very like not in a just on a superficial level. We want to hit them in the heart with yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, make them feel something. Yeah, I played. I played. Uh, I played a good part, you know, guy who has an obsession with teddy bears, who is also <laughs> very masculine. He's got like that contradictory aspect to it, you know, but it was fun. teddy bears, but you know, don't mess with them. I mean, he likes teddy bears in <laughs> secret, you know. He doesn't want anybody to know that he likes teddy bears. But teddy bears happen to be his weaknesses. Yeah, but it's a great story. Definitely check it out. See, you're an MMA fighter, so I got a question for you off topic. Can Conor McGregor take down Floyd Mayweather? On a boxing match, no. On a no chance? No. Uh, Floyd, like, I love MMA. I'm an MMA fighter before I am a boxer, but Floyd is, like, a phenomenal strategist. He's not just, like, some cocky guy for no reason, you know what I'm saying? He picks his fights, 
and he knows how to fight them. You know what I'm saying? He knows how to strategize. Like, he might be a pound over on the scale, but that's his strategy. You know what I'm saying? He may pay like $600,000 fine, mm -hmm. but he's making a lot more million. Yeah. So he's willing to take that small loss to get an advantage in weight and so he doesn't have to dehydrate himself as much. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's just a good strategist. Um, if it was an MMA fight, yeah, I think Connor would probably beat him. But when it comes to boxing, like, I think that even if by any chance Conor McGregor was better than Floyd, mm -hmm. I think that um, I think that Floyd would just fight for points and win by points. Right, right. So uh, Floyd doesn't fight to he doesn't fight the macho style. He's not like oh I'm here to win, rah, right. let's bang. He gets he's there. Smart. He's yeah he's a smart guy. He comes in there and he goes in there to win. Right. Uh, he uses the score to his advantage when he has to, and he beats the hell out of them when he has to or when he knows he can. You know what I'm saying? So. Mm -hmm. I don't think Connor could beat him. Really? Yeah, I think okay. that's a Floyd Mayweather. I think that's Floyd all the way. Okay, well, you know, he is a smart fighter, but, you know, one punch might do it, right? One punch. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's so, all I need. <laughs> no, I, uh, I mean, yeah, there's always, like, a lucky shot in everything, but I just think that Connor, if somebody was going to get a lucky shot on um, – on Floyd Mayweather is not going to be a MMA fighter like Conor McGregor, which I like Conor McGregor a lot. He's one of my favorite fighters, but if somebody was going to land a lucky shot on Floyd Mayweather, it would have been one of the other boxers that are phenomenally trained for boxing. You know what I'm saying? Um, boxing, boxing is its own science and MMA is its own science. So if you're talking about a guy that's a genius at boxing, I just don't think that Conor could get that lucky shot. I just don't think so, man. It would have already happened by now. The man's still undefeated. He's at the top of the world, you know. He just doesn't get hit. He gets hit, but he doesn't get hit with enough. He's, he's smart enough to be just out of the range, to not be hit with full force, to get knocked out. It's uh, a small centimeter in fighting is the difference between getting knocked out or just getting rocked. You know. I can't tell if you're in cosplay because Ryu would say something like that. So this is Zamboni signing off from Coldplay Media. Hey, can you give me a quick Hadouken real quick? Just, just, just go ahead and just Hadouken me, man. Just go ahead.